All right, we're going behind the weather story today, talking about why we've had such a non-soon so far this season. Pete's with us. So, Pete, a lot of people want to understand kind of what is going yeah. on. Why can't we get any rain? Yeah, and a good way to explain this, Derek, is to look at the situation right now in the Pacific for tropical activity. And we actually have a lot of tropical activity. We have Hurricane Iona, Tropical Storm Kelly. This is Hawaii right here. Fortunately, those will miss to the south, so Hawaii not in danger yeah. from that. Now, this one, which is marked by this X right here. No name, though. No name. Okay. No name yet. It may get one here in the next few days. Probably has an 80% chance of turning into a tropical system. Normally, if we're set up in that nice monsoon pattern, we can suck up some of this moisture, and that can enhance the monsoon. Here's the problem. You ready? Yes. Ready, Derek? Yeah. All right. So, see all the yellow heading into Arizona? Let's see if I can expand this here. Yeah. Right. That is all dry air. So, we've had this expansive area of high pressure to the east. And when it's in that position, we've had this dry flow from the southwest, so we get all the yellow dry air. And here's the activity I was showing you down here. This is what we want, right? Yeah. But we simply cannot grab onto this. Right, we need this here. Exactly. Okay. Now, let's say we were in a good pattern to give us rainfall. What's the ideal position of this high pressure here? All right, so this is a great graphic from the University of Arizona. And this high pressure right on the four corners See how that can suck in that tropical moisture? And if there's mm. tropical moisture down here, it can help pull that in. The problem is we don't have this right now. Ah, uh, so this is sort of our little like Hoover vacuum. We need the vacuum yes. over the four corners to suck up that moisture and get it to Arizona. And right now, the vacuum is like way over here it's, somewhere. It is not acting as a vacuum at all. And by the way, I love the vacuum analogy. <laughs> can, can I borrow that? Can I get a meteorology degree after this? Yeah, all yeah. Right. <laughs> Can I, is that a trademark, or can I use that in my weather lectures in the You're future? You're welcome to have it. Okay. You're welcome to have it. I mean, so what is the outlook like? I mean, so this, obviously the conditions are not right now. Yeah. How long out do we have to go before conditions might change? You know, I'll be honest. We were looking at the, uh, the long-term forecast over in the Weather Center. It doesn't look great right now. Mm. It's just we don't see that sign to get that high pressure in that four corners area to really suck in a lot of moisture especially for the valley. Now, we do get a little bit of moisture like we're seeing in eastern Arizona, mm. so it's not completely turned off across the entire state, but to see that nice high pressure developing and this pattern to flip to give us more wet weather in the valley, we just don't see that happening anytime soon, unfortunately. All right, well, we'll still keep our fingers crossed, yeah. Jamie. We'll send it back to you. We're not going to call it a non-zoom yet. Fellas, thank you. <laughs> Pete, Derek, thank you. Uh